So the MCS tree barrier, is, it's also a tree barrier. Uh, it's a modified tree barrier. And uh, what you'll notice, uh, once again, to make life simple, I'm showing you an arrangement of the MCS tree barrier with, uh, with eight nodes. And it's a four array arrival tree. So the arrival tree and uh, the wake up tree are different in uh, the MCS algorithm. The arrival tree is a four array tree and I'm showing the arrangement for n equal to eight. There are two um, uh, data structures that are associated uh, with every parent. And, uh, and this uh, one data structure is what is called have children. And the other data structure is what is called child not ready. Uh, and I'll describe to you what each one of these things is. Have children is a data structure that is associated with every node. And this data structure is going to have meaning only when a node is also a parent. So for example, if you look at this arrangement, uh, node P0 has four children, P1, P2, P3, and P4. And uh, if you look at uh, node P1, it has uh, three children. Uh, and so P5, P6, and P7, it has three children. And uh, so we have a total of uh, eight processors. So we've got all the eight processors accounted for here. And therefore, uh, these guys, P2, P3, P4, all the way up to P7, uh, they're not as lucky as P0 and P P P1. They don't have children. So P2 through P7, they do not have uh, uh, children. And therefore, their have-child vector is, is, is false. So what you see here is the have-child vector. And the have-child vector is, is true for P0 in all the bit positions and indicating that it has, because it's a four array tree, it can potentially have up to four children and yes, P0 has four children and the have child vector is true all the way. Whereas for P1, the have child vector is true for the first three children and false for the fourth because it has only three children and these guys don't have any children. And similarly, these guys don't have any children. So the half-child vector is completely false for P2 through, P two through uh, P7. Now what about this child not ready data structure? The child not ready data structure is a way by which each of these processors has a unique spot in the parent to signal when they are arriving at a barrier. So what I'm showing you here, the arrows here are showing you the specific spot in this data structure, the child not ready data structure associated with this parent, for each of the child, there's a unique spot for uh, this guy to indicate that they've arrived at the barrier. And similarly, for this set of children, the parent is P0, and each, of each child has a unique spot in the parent's child not ready uh, vector to indicate that they've arrived at the barrier. So the black arrows in this uh, structure I'm showing you is just showing the arrangement of the tree and in terms of the, the parent-child relationship for the four array arrival tree. And the red arrows are the ones that are showing you the specific spot where a particular child is going to indicate to the parent that uh, they have arrived at the barrier. And as you can see that since P1 has three children, the fourth spot is empty, so indicating that um, it, it has to wait only on three children to know that uh, the barrier is complete down the tree and so it can move up. So the algorithm for barrier arrival is going to work like this. When each of these processors arrive at a barrier, what they're going to do is they're going to reach into the parent data structure, very specific spots, statically determined. That's important, right? So it's statically determined that this is the spot that P5 is going to indicate to the parent that it has arrived. This is the spot that P6 is going to indicate that it has arrived, P7. And similarly, uh, once, once all of these guys have arrived at the barrier, P1 can check. And then the way P1 checks is just sees whether this uh, CN vector has ones in all of these parts. If it is ones in all of these parts, it can spin on this, and therefore it knows that its children have arrived at the barrier. Once its children have arrived at the barrier, then it can move up the tree, similar to what we saw in the uh, uh, vanilla tree barrier before. P1 is going to move up, and it's going to inform its parent. And the way it does is by going to a specific spot in the parent's child not ready vector. And there's a specific spot assigned for P1. It's going to set this to indicate that it has arrived at the barrier. So what P0 is doing is waiting on everybody. If P0 was the first, let's say, to arrive at the barrier, it's basically waiting on everybody else to arrive at the barrier. Could be P0 is the first one or last one. It doesn't really matter. When P0 arrives at the barrier, it is going to wait on this child not ready, all the bits 
being set by the chi- by, by the children and uh, so when each of these nodes arrive at a barrier they know because of the arrangement of this data structure they know their position in the data structure relative to other processes arriving at the barrier and therefore p2 when it know when it arrives at a barrier it knows that all it has to do given the structure it has to go to this part on the parent vector and set it to 1 p3 has to go to this part and set it to 1 and so on okay and so once it is done p0 will know that everybody has arrived at the barrier so that's the arrival at the barrier so once again to recap the arrival tree is a four array tree and the reason why they chose to use a four array four array tree is because there is a theoretical result backing uh the use of four array tree re- leading to the best performance and that's the reason that uh, they they chose this particular arrangement and the second thing that i want you to notice is that each processor is assigned to a unique spot by construction a unique spot in this four array tree and because of its unique spot a particular processor may have children or may not have children and in this case i showed you that p0 and p1 um, have children and the rest are not as lucky because n is equal to 8 the other nice thing about this particular arrangement is that in a cache coherent uh, multiprocessor it is possible to arrange so that all the specific spots that children have to uh, signal the parent can be packed into one word of a, a processor and therefore a parent has to simply spin on one memory location in order to know the arrival of everybody so it doesn't have to individually spin on memory locations for different processes they can all be packed into one word and the cache coherence mechanism will ensure that p0 is alerted every time any of these guys uh, modify this uh, shared memory location 